Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet pie shell. These pie shells are great for making pies like blueberry pie or peach pie or boysenberry pie. Whatever the kind of pie you like, as long as it's sweet, you're going to love this shell. So let's start by looking at the ingredients. So the trick with this is to have cold butter. And as long as you have cold butter, everything should be fine. So let's start by adding our Frankie's gluten-free all-purpose flour, our sugar, our salt, and I'm just going to mix that up by hand just to make sure the salt gets in there. Now I'm going to crack my two eggs. There's one. And there's the second. And I'm going to mix that up just for about five seconds. Easy so far. Now I'm going to add my butter. So at this point, if you look inside, you might think, oh, it's too dry, I need to add some water. Rest assured, it's gonna come together. So just be patient and keep on mixing. Look at that! About 90 seconds into it, and it just came right together, and it's perfect. I can't be more excited about this. So with this pastry, you can make turnovers and galettes. You can do pretty much anything you want with the pastry. It's really, really quite nice. Now there's a few troubleshooting tips here at this point. So if you find that it's just way too sticky to work with, wrap it up in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then pull it back out. The butter is going to be your saving grace when it makes it easier and easier to roll out but I'm gonna start by just rolling it out. Have a well-floured surface. Look at that pastry so far, it's beautiful. At this point, you have to decide how thick you want your pastry to be. Do you want it to be ultra razor thin or do you want it to be nice and thick? And, and both have their benefits. I find I like mine about three millimeters thick. I wouldn't go any thicker than that because then it might get a bit tough. I'm just running my scraper underneath the edges just to make sure it's not gonna stick. Grab my pie plate. I'm going to set my rolling pin on the pastry and roll it right up and unroll and look at that pastry. It's beautiful. And Donna at the bakery has taught me a couple tricks at Frankie's. You put another pie plate right on top and then you can just run your knife lippity quick quick right around the edge and you get a perfect edge every time so now it's on to making a lid and the lid is very similar it's flowered surface You want to make sure you keep picking this up and dusting with flour just to make sure it's not going to stick. And there we go, we got our lid. So I'm going to check it for size by putting that on top and that is darn near perfect. So 
I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because I wanna make sure that whatever I put inside the pie, the lid is gonna fit entirely. So now you're ready to put whatever filling into your pie shell and I'm gonna put a wild blueberry filling inside. If you wanna see the wild blueberry filling, check out the link in the description below. Look at this pie. This sweet pie shell looks so good. I can't wait for you to tell me what your favorite pie is in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.